Senate Cymru. The Senate comprises 60 members who are known as members of the Senate, abbreviated as MS. Since 2011, members are elected for a five-year term of office under an additional member system, in which 40 MSs represent smaller geographical divisions known as constituencies, and are elected by first past the post voting and 20 MSs represent five electoral regions using the Daunt method of proportional representation. Typically, the largest party in the Senate forms the Welsh Government. A National Assembly for Wales was created by the Government of Wales Act 1998. Upon the result of the 1997 referendum, the National Assembly for Wales initially had no powers to initiate primary legislation. Limited law-making powers were gained through the Government of Wales Act 2006. Its primary law-making powers were enhanced following a yes vote in the referendum on 3 March 2011, meaning that the UK Parliament or the Secretary of State for Wales were no longer consulted when parsing acts of the National Assembly for Wales related to the 20 devolved areas. These powers were further extended by the Wales Act 2014 and Wales Act 2017. The Assembly then renamed itself, effective as of May 2020, to its current name with the Senate and Elections Act 2020. Devolved areas include health, education, economic development, transport, the environment, agriculture, local government and some taxes. An appointed Council for Wales and Monmouthshire was established in 1949 to ensure the government is adequately informed of the impact of government activities on the general life of the people of Wales. The council had 27 members nominated by local authorities in Wales. The University of Wales, National Eisteddfod Council and the Welsh Tourist Board. A post of Minister of Welsh Affairs was created in 1951 and the post of Secretary of State for Wales and the Welsh Office were established in 1964 leading to the abolition of the council for Wales. The establishment of the Welsh Office effectively created the basis for the territorial governance of Wales. The Royal Commission on the Constitution was set up in 1969 by Harold Wilson's Labour government to investigate the possibility of devolution for Scotland and Wales. Its recommendations formed the basis of the 1974 White Paper Democracy and Devolution proposals for Scotland and Wales, which proposed the creation of a Welsh Assembly. However, Welsh voters overwhelmingly rejected the proposals in a referendum held in 1979. After the 1997 general election, the new Labour government argued that an assembly would be more democratically accountable than the Welsh office. For 11 years prior to 1997 Wales had been represented in the cabinet of the United Kingdom by a Secretary of State who did not represent a Welsh constituency at Westminster. A referendum was held in Wales on 18 September 1997 in which voters approved the creation of the National Assembly for Wales with a total of 559,419 votes, or 50.3% of the vote. The following year the Government of Wales Act was passed by the United Kingdom Parliament, establishing the Assembly. On 1 July 1999 the powers of the Secretary of State for Wales were transferred to the Assembly and the Welsh Office ceased to exist in July 2002. The Welsh Government established an independent commission, with Lord Richard as chair, to review the powers and electoral arrangements of the National Assembly to ensure that it is able to operate in the best interests of the people of Wales. The Richard Commission reported in March 2004. It recommended that the National Assembly should have powers to legislate in certain areas, whilst others would remain the preserve of Westminster. It also recommended changing the electoral system to the single transferable vote which would produce greater proportionality. In response, the British government, in its Better Governance for Wales White Paper, published on 15 June 2005, proposed a more permissive law-making system for the Welsh Assembly based on the use of parliamentary orders in council. In so doing, the government rejected many of the cross-party Richard Commission's recommendations. This has attracted criticism from opposition parties and others.
the Government of Wales Act 2006 received royal assent on 25 July 2006. It conferred on the Assembly legislative powers similar to other devolved legislatures through the ability to pass Assembly measures concerning matters that are devolved. Requests for further legislative powers made through legislative competence requests were subject to the veto of the Secretary of State for Wales, House of Commons or House of Lords. The Act reformed the Assembly to a parliamentary-type structure, establishing the Welsh Government as an entity separate from, but accountable to the National Assembly. It enables the Assembly to legislate within its devolved fields. The Act also reforms the Assembly's electoral system. It prevents individuals from standing as candidate.